Okay, the next drill that we're going to bring to you in balance is having you watch your pitcher and see where their shoulders are. A lot of time you'll see sho shoulders dipping one way or the other, glove arms going out. And what this drill does is takes out that ability for a pitcher to be able to do. 90% of the time, balance is going to be lost in the stride or the step or the beginning part of the motion. So what we're doing is we're taking that completely away for the pitcher so that they don't even have the ability to do that. And what we're going to do is we put them on the mound and we show them their power line once again and ultimately what we're doing is getting to phase one. But necessarily you don't have to do that. You can tell them to get their left foot, if they're right handed, on that power line. And what I would do is be right here, but since we're not going to use these poles, I'll move them to the side. But make sure your pitcher is on that power line so they're almost sideways. So here I am back in phase one. We can use it this direction, but you're getting your pitcher to a half motion. And we call this the no step or stationary drill. And the reason we're doing that is I'm not moving through this, I'm not stepping, I'm not doing anything but my arm motion so that I can learn what my shoulders are doing if I'm dipping one way or the other. You're going to see a lot of young pitchers start falling one way or the other or feel really uncomfortable doing this because they normally are off balance. The other thing you can do in this, if you've got a pitcher that's dipping one way or the other as a coach, get to their glove arm and make sure it's their glove arm that you have your hand on their one shoulder so that they can actually feel pressure there, especially if I'm right-handed and I'm dipping this direction because you're going to feel this. A lot of times girls won't feel this part until they actually have something touching it. And what you can also do in that is have them take a broomstick so that they can feel it and have them go through that motion and see if they're dipping. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that for pitch or hitters, excuse me, they do the same thing. So it's the same concept. What we're doing is, once again, we're back at phase one. This is a no step or barrier drill. We're up here, we're nice and loose and relaxed. Your catcher is going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 feet away. Speed is not the essential thing on this. What we're doing is learning our body. And all they're going to do is let their arm drop right through and come back through, and you're actually going to throw the ball. So here we are at phase one. Boom, right through. Watch my shoulders. They're on balance. I'm not dipping either one way or the other. Also, pay real close attention to the glove arm. If your girl is getting thrown off balance or opening up this direction, a lot of times the glove arm's coming this way. Okay, So it's pulling out. Girls are really going to be able to feel this because for the first time, it's real simple. We're taking out all the complicated and just telling them, boom, drop. You'll hear me when I'm talking to my pitchers. A lot of times you want to feel like scissors. If I had put a piece of paper right through my legs, they're cutting right back down through the middle. And if that's not on balance one way or the other, you're going to feel that. So we're right back into phase one, boom, right through. And have that pitcher or catcher about 20 to 30 feet away and go through that phase one. So it's just halfway here. As they get more comfortable, you can have them go through their whole motion still with no step and going through it so that they can feel this. And we'll see this drill in a lot of different things that we do, concentrating on hip closure, drive, all that kind of stuff. But right now when we're using this no step barrier drill, no step stationary drill, what you're doing is looking for their shoulder balance and where their body is if they're falling to one way or the other.